Welcome everyone to the Side Draft Podcast and welcome to our very late Xfinity Series race review. Uh, a dog went missing and we tried to go find him. Didn't find him. Uh, so uh, hopefully we will. Uh, but uh, Yes, we are late. We did set our clocks back, but we're still late. So figure it out. Just can't win one. Nope. Uh, but uh, the guy that did win was Chris Rebell. And uh, I believe it was his seventh or eighth win of the season. And he's just yeah. uh, uh, turning he's, on the oven, you know. Just. Yeah, he continued to rack up the wins and stuff. Uh, can he get one more at Homestead? We'll see. Yeah, I think he's going to be really strong next week as well. Uh, could just uh, sweep the rest of the, the year and get a championship and go into the Vine Family Racing in the Cup Series next year. Uh, but it was Tyler Reddick who got the pole. Uh, he would lead, but Christopher Bell would run him down and take the lead. And shortly after that, caution for the 66 of Bobby Earnhardt. Uh, just uh, has, it, has it been an Earnhardt year? No, he's just like he's just spun and got loose on the bottom right there and just hit the wall. And that's just pretty much the end your day. And then Christopher Bell went on to win stage one. Stage two, uh, Bell would lead. Tyler Reddick would battle him. He'd run him down. Uh, I guess Bell was a dream, and Tyler Reddick ran him down. down the ring. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, I, believe, I believe Tyler Reddick was about the only one that could really uh, run Bell down and uh, actually take the lead. And so, uh, yeah, Tyler Reddick had a really strong car. Yeah, and he would able he would be able to pass him right as the caution came out. That was for the eighty six. Uh, Brandon Brown uh, had some contact or with uh, Ryan Sieg, and they had. Uh, a little altercation after the race, just a little yelling. It wasn't like a Martinsville uh, push Denny down uh, kind of deal. Uh, so the FedEx package arrived. Yeah. Uh, ground shipping. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Different series. All right. So Tyler Reddick would lead, uh, but he would get in the wall uh, battling Christopher Bell once Christopher Bell uh, reeled him in. Uh, just a little little tap in the wall. Yeah, I mean, uh, with this uh, PJ Warren and stuff, I ain't sure if he's got you know, marbles or something up right there and just got loose. Uh, Spread the wall a little bit. But, you know, it's a good thing with the Xfinity cars being the composite bodies. You know, they got, they can do that and get away with it. Yeah, uh, it takes uh, a lot to destroy these cars, which is still possible, which is, in a way, it's kind of good that yeah. uh, the cars aren't indestructible, but they're they're also... Uh, not very fragile, so uh, he was able to continue on, and Christopher Bell would take the lead from him as a caution. Uh, the 52 would spin, I had some contact from the 15, and uh, that was the Waterburger car went in the grass, and the burgers are ready. I guess he got hungry. Yeah, won't order him a Waterburger. <laughs> it was in Texas. So, yeah, a uh, great place to get some Waterburger. Mm -hmm. uh, so Bell will just go on to win stage 2 not much to really say uh, he had a dominant car aside from Tyler Reddick who I think had a better longer run car so it was one of those types of battles yeah it's uh, good to see him and Tyler Reddick you know, chasing each other down and uh, trying to race each other a little bit yeah we could see that at Homestead because Tyler Reddick likes to try that outside line uh, nothing bad happens at, at Phoenix. Uh, looks like Tyler Reddick's going to be in. Uh, so as long as he survives Phoenix, he can go get two for two for the two. Yep. And so stage three, Austin Sendrick used some pit strategy. Uh, he would stay out there. Uh, he would lead like 30-some laps. Yeah, because uh, he's, he's pretty much in a must-win situation right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if he had won... That uh, really shook up the points, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think uh, if he wouldn't have had that bad of a run at Kansas a few weeks ago, uh, he would have been in the Final Four right now. Uh, but he just had that one bad race. And if you don't go to Phoenix and perform, he's going to be in some trouble. Hmm. And then uh, we had a caution for the 98. He was in the wall. Uh, not too much damage there. Uh, he was able to continue. Might have been like a lap or so down because of that. Uh, but Tyler Reddick would get the lead. Uh, 
So, uh, I think some more uh, pit strategy there allowed him to get the lead. I think Sinjer cut into pit. And then uh, caution again uh, for the 90 of Bassett. And then uh, Ross Chastain out of nowhere tries that. A little bit different of a strategy. I uh, saw, saw a little bit uh, of varying strategies out there. So that was interesting. Yeah, t and Texas Julie does have a little bit of strategy because you don't really know when the long run is going to come with the green flag pit stops and uh, with where the cautions come sometimes. Uh, a lot of them play the strategy game. And then uh, it'd be Chastain versus Algar, or uh, Chastain versus Annette. And then uh, Noel Gregson, who was looking forward to the race, I uh, thought Texas would be his wheelhouse. That'd be where he would go and perform. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, he would get turned by the 18 and team valence through the grass, and uh, there went the splitter. Yeah, I believe he was trying to go in between them and. Tim Burton moved down a little bit, and it kind of just uh, kind of turned him a little bit. And, uh, it's unfortunate because the grass, uh, you know, once they dig in the dirt, it kind of tears up the car a little bit. And uh, I really hate to see it for Noah. Uh, he's been running so well lately, and uh, just had some bad luck. Yeah, and he wouldn't be. Uh, that's his first DNF of the season, so he's had a pretty clean. Yeah, I uh, mean, that's, year. that's that's a, a compliment. I mean, that's a really good, uh, you know, thing to say. You know, it's only the first DNF for the whole season. So that's, that's a, a great compliment. I mean, a comp accomplishment. I get the <laughs> word right. <laughs> and it, took, it took you a little while there. It took me a little while. Uh, but, uh, I stumbled in the grass a little bit. And, you know, just got is it. your splitter all right? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. He hasn't really won races, he's, but he's been, uh, you know, he's kept it clean. I think he'll go uh, next year, probably win some races next year if he's able to build on what he did this year. Yeah, he's, he's really getting a hold of uh, Xfinity cars, and uh, I believe uh, he's got a great future. And then it would be Chastain versus Algar. Uh, but then the next caution would be uh, Tyler Reddick, actually. Uh, we, we thought maybe he could put up a fight for Bell, uh, but he would get in a crash. Uh oh. Yeah, so uh, the 98, he would get in the wall just a little bit. Uh, and then Reddick trying to make, trying to avoid him, just got loose and spun around and into the inside wall he went. Yeah, it uh, took a big hit to points, but luckily he's got, you know, a lot in the bank. Uh, you know, so he, as long as he, he don't have a bad one. In Phoenix, he'd be okay. I uh, kind of really tore up the car there, so uh, it's, it's really unfortunate because he, he, I believe he had a car that could really beat uh, Bell. Yeah, uh, it seemed like after that, Bell, I mean, Bell kind of dominated, dominated the race anyway, uh, but it was nice to see there would be like two different people that could battle for the, for the lead and not just watch Bell cruise on, which uh, yeah. I think he's going to do at Phoenix next week. Not sure about Homestead. That's one of those... He might go there and, and dominate, or he might go there and run, you know, barely in the top 10. So yeah. uh, I think Homestead's going to be very interesting. Yeah. And then it'd be Ross Chastain versus Christopher Bell. Bell would easily go by him with 30 to go and just cruise on and win, uh, I believe, the seventh race of the season. And uh, yeah, just a dominant performance. And uh, pretty sure he's going to do the same thing next week. And. Uh, he was my pick to win the race, so I finally got another win. Uh, not the Cup Series, but I believe it's my uh, sixth Xfinity Series out of like 30, 34 races, somewhere in there, 31 actually. So how many have you won with Christopher Bell? I've won. <laughs> I think I've picked him eight times now, and I've won with him three times. <laughs> so, actually, this would be the fourth. Yeah, I've won with Christopher Bell and Kyle Busch <laughs> uh, most of the year. Uh, Cole Custer got me one, uh, so I got some ice cream out of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a, a Christopher Bell versus Tyler Reddick kind of day. Reddick took himself out, and it was just kind of Bell the rest of the way. Yeah, I picked Algar, and he come close. Yeah, I tried to use a little bit of that strategy. just didn't work. Uh, Chastain almost stole it from him. Uh, if it wasn't for all those cautions, he could have maybe done something. We don't know. 
but uh, I think it's kind of interesting though because next year he's going to be in that car full time and uh, they might try some of those strategies a lot I don't think they'll have the speed to compete with uh, which I guess would be Harrison Burton uh, in the 20 car next year it's going to be weird getting used to these new faces yeah new faces the new number new numbers and stuff but uh yeah i believe uh chastain you know i believe he's really helped that program out that caught it racing and and dustin haley he seemed like he's run a little better now and uh i'd see what they're gonna do next year yeah and i think next year's gonna be a you know refreshing year we get to see new names of victory lane uh, because like i said we're gonna have harrison burton in the 20 car I think it's going to be a breakout year for Brandon Jones next year if he can continue running well. And and also, you know, we're still going to have some familiar faces like Justin Allgaier. Uh, and uh, who knows who's going to get the double zero? Who knows who's going to get the two? Or if uh, Cole Custer is even moving from the double zero, we could see a dominant year out of him if he stays. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting next year. Yeah, because uh, Christopher Bell then made a name. In Xfinity series and uh, going to the cup, so then we'll see what he can do next year there. Yeah, and it's going to be with Levine family racing in the cup series, and he, he was able to dominate the Xfinity series uh, like eight wins a, a season. And you know, we could see uh, him do the same thing, or he could struggle. Uh, we usually see the guys in Xfinity dominate, and then they come up the cup and they. Just never hear from him again. So, yeah. Uh, really can't tell what's going to happen with Christopher Bell. Yeah, it's kind of tougher in that series trying to, I mean, get wins and just, and just be competitive. I mean, look how many, uh, you know, you see Jimmy Johnson, seven time champion, and uh, and it's even tough for him to get a win now. So, uh, it, it's kind of crazy. It's, I mean, sometimes they can go in there and they can, be dominant is really really tough there yeah so uh that was our review congratulations to christopher bell and joe gibbs racing uh they're now locked in the homestead and i'm looking forward to seeing what they can do if they can improve on uh what they did last year and it wasn't really a factor last year uh maybe now that they got an extra week to prepare maybe they'll uh, uh be a dominant car at homestead yeah maybe learn a little bit from last year and and uh, go on there and uh, maybe give him a championship before he uh, goes in the cup. Yeah, because he, he wants to get the trifecta. He wants to get the, the – he already got the truck championship, and uh, then uh, he's going for the cup next year. And if he don't get the Xfinity, it's, it's just going to be an empty trophy on the shelf. Yeah. He'll be sitting going to the cup thinking, man, what, what could I have done different? So. It's, it's hard to say because uh, the competition is getting a little better and tougher in Xfinity now. Uh, you know, teams starting to grow, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, the point battle seems to be kind of very similar to the cup right now. Uh, looks like the final four is going to be the big three and Justin Allgaier. It looks like it's going to be the big three and me uh, like it was last year in cup. And... Uh, we're going to see if that big three can continue or if it's going to end like it did in the cup last year and maybe Justin Allgaier can win the championship without winning a race. Yeah, that'd be kind of crazy. I mean, what if uh, Allgaier just makes it into home, Homestead and wins that race? Yeah. <laughs> the only, win, only race he wins is, is there. So. Or we could see somebody like Chase Briscoe go out at Phoenix, win the race, go on to, go on to Homestead and take that position away from Allgaier. And also Austin Sendrick. He's in there battling for it. Noah Gregson, he's in a must-win situation. Uh, so, who knows? I think it's going to be uh, interesting to see what the strategies are. Yeah. All right, so uh, stay tuned for our Fast Picks episode coming out on Friday and uh, our race reviews throughout the weekend.